Okay, so as I stated previously, we're gonna show you a few different steps on how I did that program. And in this case, I'm gonna show you how I made the master file out of two separate operations. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to Program In and Out, and I'm gonna select Open, and you'll notice in here it says Create a Master. You'll also notice up on the screen that there's several programs that are already in my memory. So I'm gonna to go to Create a Master, and the green box highlights and it tells me to select from PT7 files that you want to have combined in your master program. So I'm going to come down here to the first one that says OP1 PT7 and push select. Then I'm going to come down a couple more steps to OP2 PT7 and push select again. And then the next thing I would normally do is push complete, but I can name it right now also so that I can find it later, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to hit the tab key twice and I'm going to hit my help key to bring up my keyboard. I'm just going to backspace here and I'm going to use my name, okay? So I'm going to select P, A, T, and push N. Now I should also make a note that if you have a keyboard hooked up, it's a lot faster, but I'm kind of just using the process the way it is, okay? So the last thing I have to do is push complete, okay? And then what I'm going to do is it's asking me to reconcile my tools. And the reason for that is what it's saying is, hey, you got two different operations that both have a tool number one and a tool number two. And that doesn't work right. So it's suggesting that I use number six and seven. But I actually don't have to do that in this case. The way that I have it set up, I can actually give it the name of the actual tools that are in there, okay? So I'm going to call that one tool number five. And I'm going to call the countersink, which I know is tool number four, like so, and then hit save, okay? So now when I go back into my program in and out mode and I open in here, you're going to see that all, these are all my normal programs that I already have. And when I push save this time and push save file, you're going to see that it adds in here a file by the name of pat.ptm. What the PTM means is that it's a master program with several operations inside of it. Pretty simple to follow along and I think you'll be able to do it too after watching this video. In our next video, we're going to talk about tool setup and some other things after that. So I'll see you in the next video. Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat here with some of my best guys from the assembly department, reminding you that if you like these videos, don't forget to push the like button. If you wanna subscribe so that we have a better idea who's watching us, hit the subscribe button over here. And of course, if you wanna see the next video, then slam this one over here. And as always, I hope you enjoy the video. And most importantly, don't forget, keep on tracking.